I guess like behind the 2-3. It's like this. This allows us that if this dies to play a non-team up on heights. Get another buff. This really is a really, really difficult play from the Good! The extinction event to 2-3 to do a damn thing! This really, really messed him up. I mean, look how good Umbrella Leap was there. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are making an attempt at the ultimate Umbrella Leaf deck. I got this idea more or less from Frieza, who's a regular viewer of the stream. Uh, so let me explain all the weird things Umbrella Leaf does. Usually we don't use this too much because Umbrella Leaf can get removed very easily. It's a 0-1 and it makes untrickable, but then there's it doesn't really play around cards like Pogo, things that are not that are removal but are not, you know, trick-based. However, uh, I think there is enough uses of Umbrella Leaf in this deck to make it really, really good. So let me explain them one at a time. And we've actually tried a bunch of these ideas separately, but now we're sort of combining them all into one deck. One uh, very creative combo is Lily of the Valley Umbrella Leaf, and you do that on turn three. So again, Lily, unless they play a two drop, and this is very safe, you typically don't want to play this on turn two because uh, it gets removed by Bungie and Rolling Stone and beam me up and they teleport anything in the game. Uh, so the you're going to wait until turn three, play your Lily of the Valley in lane two, very important, to then play Umbrella Leaf on heights in lane uh, three. So the Umbrella Leaf will take some resources to deal with. Uh, it is a team up, so you can put a second card on heights in order to get the buff from Lily of the Valley. Uh, and this also, uh, the Lily of the Valley is protected from tricks. So at least like cards like Bungie, Plumber, Rolling Stone, Extinction Event will not kill the Lily of the Valley you know, on turn three. If they just get rid of the Umbrella Leaf, great. Then you'll be able to play another card to get buffed on heights from the Lily of the Valley the next turn. And it gets uh, insane value that way. The other thing that Umbrella Leaf could be very good at is protecting specifically your ramp cards. Like Umbrella Leaf on one, maybe if it's safe, like if they just play uh, something like a Con Man or something like that, it can make that you can play your Twin Sunflower uh, on turn two. And then you're going to be, really, it's going to be very difficult for them to remove Twin Sunflower when it has an Umbrella Leaf in front of it, protecting it. <clears throat> uh, and that will actually give you the Briar Rose uh, on turn three, or Astrocado I decided to add in last second because the deck definitely needed more power. Uh, Briar Rose is definitely synergy also with Umbrella Leaf because Umbrella Leaf is a flower. So this will count as a little cheap team up to put in front of anything on the board uh, in order to get an automatic kill because uh, it will get damage and Briar Rose will kill the zombie that damaged it. Umbrella Leaf is very good with Cobb Cannon because it's a cheap team up so it definitely becomes a base to be able to destroy a zombie. It's just so many uses out of it. Even Astrocado, I think, I'm, you know, Astrocado, if you use a minion to trade with the three health of Astrocado, uh, you're still getting the five damage in. So the Umbrella Leaf will prevent, but not only be a team up in front of it <laughs> to be able to protect this from dying, but will prevent tricks from taking Astrocado out, giving it more value. And also the Astrocado Pit with Umbrella Leaf is very good because that will just make it uh, the, a very small card that can turn, obviously, into a whole Astrocado again. will protect it and will make it a lot more difficult to deal with uh, for the zombie hero, and you'll be able to get that free Astrocado. Um, so I needed to run some extra early game. I decided to go with Click P, which again, we're not running any P synergy, but this is overall a very good card. It's a one cost two, two that puts two cost three threes in your deck. And this will be one way of getting a little extra power for this deck. Also running Primal Sunflower. These are both very good cards to play together with Lily of the Valley on turn three. You can just Lily anywhere and then play one of these big cards. And you know, all of a sudden on turn three, you end up like a 4-4 four, four on the field, which they're going to have to ignore and go after your Lily, and this will end up doing a lot of damage. Uh, also running Black Eyed P. Uh, it's a very good complement to Lily of the Valley and Twin Sunflower. These are both cards you don't want to force onto the board. If your opponent passes turn two, you can only really develop these if they play something like a Teleportation Zombie on turn two. Uh, and the Black IP excels if they do pass, so it gives you that very good option so you're not forced to make a value play with one of your weak uh, high risk, high reward two drops. Running a couple of plant foods just to finish off, that'll be very good. Either with Cobb Cannon, Astrocado, Black Eyed Pea, Click Bee, or just anything that's buffed by Lily of the Valley. You can make very cool plays um, with Little Buddy, which again is a flower, so it works with Briar Rose, and you can play this for free on heights, let's say, with Lily of the Valley in order to get some extra value from that. 
Uh, so having Lily with a lot of team ups is really good. I think this deck just has all these really cool little synergies, and uh, I hope it's going to come together very well. Let's get right into the game. And thank you again to Frieza. A regular viewer on the Twitch stream for giving me this idea. Uh, so we are going to do eight games today. If you think this deck will win six out of eight, though, yes. Five out of eight is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry them up. Uh, so we got a little bit of ramp. I'm going to get rid of plant food since you typically want that later. Black IP is a good draw. I'm going to get rid of the little buddy too. Uh, I think this is pretty good. Briar Rose, not an easy card for Zemek to deal with. There's Teacher, definitely not what we want to see. I was considering running Colonel Pult in this deck. Teacher's on heights if we don't have Colonel Pult is going to be a problem. Let's see what happens here. So the opponent could have... Bungie removal. Oh, should I commit the Twin Sunflower right now? Black IP ain't bad. What would I rather get, like, Lightning Bolted this turn? Or Rolling Stoned? Black IP or Twin? I think I'm gonna save the Scorch. The ramp is sort of difficult to survive. Uh, this card, anyway, is much weaker than Black IP against Emek, so... We'll test for, again, one of the three damage superpowers or the Rolling Stone here. And that should hopefully take some pressure off the Black IP next turn. Oh, he does... well, doesn't have the superpower. So he just had buff cards, interesting. Looks like Black IP would have been a good play, but... This actually gives us a pretty good opportunity to get back into this game, since he was not able to deal with the ramp now. We are taking a ton of heat here. Uh, the other problem is Astrocado also. Ugh. We need a the bigger threat is we definitely... Hey, cutie. The con man. What do we do here? I guess just Astrocado here, right? The teacher is less of a threat as his card count goes down. Kind of the damage is... Really already been done by the teacher, so let's go after the high-powered bullseye minion instead. Uh, hopefully if he was just going for like a going viral or something, we'll come out of this turn in pretty good shape if that's all the opponent has. Again, only three cards, so it's not going to be a ton of options passing turn three. I hope that's it. If he top decks like a healthy treat, we, we lose on the spot. Could you not? Ah, oh, that's lethal. <laughs> well, Trick Mac can definitely do that to you. Unfortunately, we lose. <laughs> we just lose to Trick Mac. Uh, it's not a deck I'm gonna start teching for. Like adding, obviously, Colonel Fault and stuff would be good. Starting off with our Chumpzilla Super would have also been good there, but. Yeah, there's no way to play around that free kick there. There was just no option. Alright, 0-1. It's okay. It happens. That's a tough... Definitely a tough matchup. Alright. Let us keep going. Here's HG. So these ramp cards are very good against you, Giganticus. I wonder if I should even just keep second Astrocata. We'll go one. Maybe something to complement this on turn two. Two Astrocados is pretty damn good here. Alright, let's do it. We'll use our superpower on two. Yeah, that was a pretty harsh game, but it was just a rough matchup. We're also not running a lot of good, like, anti z -mech tools, like catch-up mechanic. It's just unfortunate. So, it's time. I think we want to ramp here. So I'm gonna stick this behind here to protect it from beaming up. And we should have turn 3 Astrocata, like, for sure. I don't even know what the opponent could have here. Still gonna be really rough to deal with this. Teleport, one drop, plus like trapper territory here would do it. No, did not get it. Right, that's fortunate. Turn three, we get five. Briaris. I think we go Astrocata. One could have a laser base alpha. 
Against Blazer Base Alpha, like, what is... Which one of these are better? I guess the Astricado, because, again, the Hugiganticus does not have um, small removal. And the Astricado Pit is, like, free next turn. We can even go Lily of the Valley Astricado Pit on Heights just to make... It'll be a 2-3 and it doesn't die to set another beam me up. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there was any world where we scorched that turn. This is fine. He he spent a lot of resources and got rid of a lot of his huge gigantic his, you know, high roll garbage, his cheap, you know, discounted cards during that turn, so I think we're okay here. Warlord, but that's his turn. I mean, so we can... Oh, there's so much we can do here. I don't have a good Briar Rose play, um, but I'm going to do uh, Astricado. An Astricado Pit. I think the Astricado Pit against uh, Block and Guy, uh, the Astricado Pit's definitely better than the Twin Sunflower in terms of surviving. We'll have five Sun next turn, so we'll have a good play anyway. Um, but yeah, we get the Pit back. And this pit automatic, automatically, uh, automatically transforms. That was worst case scenario for him getting teleportation station there. So now we're making seven. We'll have another Astrocado on the board, and we have, uh, yeah, a lot going for us here. <laughs> it's protected naturally from the twin now. So we'll leave the valley on bottom, Bryros on top. I think is pretty good. I think we need to block this lane. Him getting more teleports I don't think is the problem here. And Astrocado Pit's pretty good too. Do I need to Briar Rose? I don't even need to Briar Rose. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play this here. I'm gonna have Astrocado Pit here. I'll just play, like, you on Heights. Utilize the team up. And I'll just play Click Me. That's a really strong play. And if the Lily of the Valley lives, uh, this Astrocado will will get the buff. He'll teleport something in too, it's okay. <laughs> he doesn't have anything. Give this man a minion. What does he have in his hand? He's brick. He's got teleports, environment, and nothing. Okay, so here's five. Here's proc the block. That's all you need to do. Thank you, Click B. So we're gonna get a seven attack Astrocado on Heights and Yeah, man. This guy date you. This is as bad of a matchup as Z-Mac is. This is probably a really good matchup because he just doesn't have the small removal. Look at the buff. <laughs> it's insane. We don't have any board space. But we do have 10 sun. Die! <laughs> He's not going to be able to deal with both these Astrocados. It's not going to happen. Rocket, rocket, I guess. But then he dies to this 3 damage. This man, Chop Chop. Chop Chop still loses, though. Isn't that sad? That you can get the dream. I guess he could get, like, heal, heal. <laughs> Damn, that's harsh. <laughs> he still doesn't live here, right? There's no way he could possibly survive this turn. No, 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 no. Oh my god! He got Z Mech Super Evaporate. He got the dream, and it's still not enough. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, when you high roll as high as you can roll and it's still not enough. Wow. Falcom? <laughs> that was insane. Uh, that was god tier. Here's Super Brains. Great matchup. Oh, oh, is right. Oh, here's some Lily. Okay, fine. Finally, we got Umbrella Leaf. Uh, this is a pretty damn good starting hand. Should I get rid of this? I don't think we really need it. Lily of the Valley is going to be crazy. Should I include another Umbrella Leaf in here? I don't think so. Lose too many. Waxer.
I'll see if he starts playing imposters and stuff. Name the game, thank you. So we got two strong plays here. Um I I could just black IP. I mean this does die to beam me up, it dies to smoke bomb. I'm gonna play this safe. I wonder if this is correct though here. I think it is because I'll probably get a lot of value out of the mustache waxer. It's a little bit annoying clogging a heights lane, but we can still like develop it with the umbrella leaf. He might get desperate and use like some kind of eh, that's okay. I'm thinking like some kind of um deadly or something. What I might do is put the umbrella leaf behind so we can get another Lily shot. Oh, that's so annoying that he just clogged that lane. Okay. I think I'm gonna go just Lily. I'll, I'll put Umbrella here. It really makes the... Um, we can, obviously can't protect the Lily anymore. Uh, Lily could very easily die. We, we got the value from it. This will also make Geyser very good next turn because it's gonna be healing both of these. This also equals like 5 damage and grows every single time. Okay. This is going to move that. But again, we have a really, really strong lane here. And we're doing six damage to his face. Okay, Lily. Uh, hopefully we get something to complement. That doesn't do anything. That's actually really good for us. Well, it prevents the damage, but it just makes the black IP insane. Um, he doesn't have a lot of cards, so the extra brains he's gaining from these waxers are hopefully not going to be too significant. I really didn't want a f We're only running a few cards that cost five or more in this deck, and unfortunately we just got one. The good news is we do have a very good play here. This is really annoying. What is this guy doing? <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's healed. He cannot chop. Not even close. The card we play next turn is also protected by this umbrella, so that's awesome. Why did he play it there? It doesn't make- you can't play anything into Nebula now! Is he gonna start leaping? At least play it in two? I don't understand that at all, it doesn't make any sense. But anyway... <laughs> Meanwhile in Ohio, we actually got Little Buddy, which means Briar Rose could end up being a really strong play here. What is this gonna be? I don't know, a little player on Pogo, I guess? It's probably Excavator. I'm not- okay, I'm gonna play around Excavator and that's it. <laughs> oh, no. There. Excavator. No, it's Gentleman. So he gets like a million brains. Wait. Does he- oh, he does not get Bad Moon Rising this turn, that's the good news. He could play, uh, well, there's no one cost mustache he could play right now. None of his removal cards are gonna work. He could have a rocket science or a chop in hand and it just doesn't do a damn thing. Did he use his oh, use his super, so he can't have chop. Yeah, the guy is just <laughs> He's ramping to nothing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we do eight and five. And the Briar Rose just absolutely puts him away. There's no answer. La 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 la. There's Imposter, yay! Goodbye. <laughs> Ohio Waxer is correct. <laughs> when you run way too much ramp in a deck. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm streaming pretty late now. It's like 10.30 at night. Sorry to the people who actually have a normal sleeping schedule. <laughs> Unlike this guy, this this works though. Let, let's see if it let's see if this works. I, let's try the one another. The lily was good there. We did the, the sort of with the uh sorry, the umbrella was good. We did sort of with the lily of the valley. Actually, is umbrella better here than like click pee? Okay, well, the things that remove this, there's no teleport. See, in the matchup, there might be a, a, a time where, where click is actually better. I wonder if I should play around, like, environment, or there's no real way of him doing on the ground. It's just, like, Total Eclipse. I don't think Total Eclipse is a play around card. So let's put the Umbrella here, since the Briar Rose usually goes here. The thing that he can use to kill Twin Sunflower is just Extinction Event or S Smash S Super. 
Those, I think, are the only two, or like Nibble Nibble, but the Umbrella Leaf does protect it from those things. And Black IP, uh, and Click P, I mean, does not. That's awkward. Um, so how important is developing Briar Rose here? There is Chompzilla Super with just Primal. That means next turn we'll have four. It's not a lot to do with the four. This is a really safe Twin Sunflower. We already done, uh, ramp, to have you ever done ramp to Conjure. What do you mean? Just like Conjure with a lot of Ramp. It's it's not a bad idea, like with huge Giganticus. Let me make this play here. I mean, if I got Briar Rose, where would I put it? Here? It dies too easily. No, no, no. I need to play this. We At the end of the day, we are a control deck, and I'm going to play it as such. There you go. Probably this should have been behind. Doesn't matter. Not a bad idea. Uh, we don't have to play around weed spray, that's the good news. Should I just develop click B? I think so. It adds more power to our deck. I don't need to remove anything anytime soon. I think this is a mock package deck. Oh, they didn't see it there. Here's the Lily. I actually can Lily Briar Rose here. I believe it's what we're gonna do. Briar Rose ends up being like insane stats. Oh, it's 5 6. It's not protected though, but it's okay. The Lily the Valley is protected, so that'll just be buffing things for the rest of the game now. You can always just play Twin Sunflower on Heights and stuff. Kind of just chipping him. The cool thing about the Briar Rose having 5 attack is it does not die to a Smash Super here. <laughs> he doesn't like the Umbrella Leaf, oh well. Uh, now, since the... I I'm pretty sure the way this works is that since Lily is on the right, I maybe should have considered this. Since Lily's on the right and Black Hole is on the left, if I play this, the Black Hole will suck it in. Um... Before the lily, the, the before the lilies thing, I'm pretty sure if the lily wasn't too, the lily would activate first, and then you'd have a uh, lily factory. Uh, I'm not gonna commit it here because it's just putting it in this environment. Let's see what happens. Uh, it does have extinction. I think he has weed spray. That would be devastating. Do you not have weed spray or any answer to lily of the valley? Thank you. Yeah, we're kind of bricked. We kind of need like some of our late game. Like the Briar Rose is good at making these trades. It hasn't really even done anything. <laughs> There's Cow Cannon. That's exactly what we needed. La 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 la. So this lane will proc the block, uh, so I think I'm going to just play this here. We'll have the, um, there's no need to start rushing this on heights, it doesn't do damage this turn anyway. That's a really good trade. Get a 5-6 and we'll just play Briar on heights next turn. Here's proc the block, again Cobb is safe from Smash, so that's awesome. Didn't get it. You got either Galvanize or Frenzy. He always should be smashing Lily there. We actually have 5 plus 4, so that's awesome. Uh, so... This will do 5, it'll do 6 damage. 
Uh, this is sort of his way to get back into the game. So probably plant fooding it is correct. Uh, and just hope he doesn't get Zamba. But him getting two Gargs here is pretty bad. Uh, so that's pretty good. We're still not winning. But we're, we're right there. Again, any Astricado, Briar Rose, Cobb would all be plant food would be really good. Down to three health. It's black IV. I'll probably do some kind of trick this turn. Is that? So uh, black IP does benefit from the tricks. I don't think he's gonna have an answer, right? We don't have any duplicates on the board, luckily. So the Supernova Guard's ability of killing duplicates. It's not going to be in play. Yeah, the man needed Zombot. He's going to kill Bryros, but it does not help with lane 3, which kills him here. Almost for sure. That's cool. It does frenzy all the way through since the Bryros is dead, but... He broke the shutout. Good for you. Got him. Oh, uh, so we're three and one. We're three and one now. I didn't just add two wins there, right? I'll check. Yes. Was the play of using our ultimate on his cheese cutter early in that game? Did that end up paying off? I think we did that right. We played it slow, which made the game go very long and made it dangerous. We need Vegetation Mutation again. That game we needed Vegetation Mutation, but it's not going to be every game where the opponent plays multiple black holes, you know? So this looks pretty good. I'll get rid of the cob can to the late. Get rid of this to the late. I'm going to focus on this Lily early game here. Let's see what happens. Uh, if he plays a con man, I probably will stick this in front of it just to slow the game down. If he doesn't, I think I just pass here. So we'll definitely have a lily. You know, we'll probably draw something for the lily the next couple of turns here, but we'll see what happens. So now black IP. So if he plays, we play lily. If he passes, we play black IP. So Lily's a really good answer to if he, unless he plays on heights, <laughs> it's a good answer to space time. It'll stall this for a couple turns, but it gets the it gets the buff. The damage is done. Ooh, we actually get double Lily buff here. This is actually insane. Look at this play, double Lily. So it's gonna be a five five. Ridiculous. Black eyed people. It's a six six. <laughs> it's crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Does he have deadly? Deadly ultimate is the only thing that will kill this right now. But even if he does, we'll still go. Okay, so he bungees that. It's a smart play. But uh, yeah, man. I'm saying even if he deadlies there, this Lily will still get a buff next turn. We are in very decent shape. Ooh, that is probably the perfect card. He actually is just trying to prevent damage, which is hilarious. I'll put this. It doesn't really matter where, right? I guess more to the left for the Briar Rose. No, we'll put it more here. Because the Briar Rose might want to be in three behind us next turn. Now he has Deadly. Alright, that sort of made sense. He didn't have Deadly last turn, so we can't get another Lily buff this next turn. But the cool news is, is that he just used his really, really strong superpower. Ours is still on deck, and we have... Everything we need. Thank you, Monsrisendi. Welcome to the Prime Boy. Got that Prime sub. So, Astrocado does not get it done. He can't deadly yet. The best answer here might just be Briar Rose. We don't need the five damage per se this turn. Astrocado doesn't really trade all into this. 
Actually, I could do this and then heal next turn. Oh, wow, that's smart. That's right. Well, we're, we're, we're playing into Bungie Plumber exactly. Is the only thing that we kill Briar here. Since he already used his superpower. If he didn't use his superpower, there's no way in hell I'm doing this play. But even then, it's still Bungie plus Tanklosaurus for Briar Rose. That's, <laughs> that's really, really good. We're just making... This deck just makes, like, really good value trades. And the best case scenario is he doesn't have it. So Briar Rose is still up. Briar Rose goes back up to 4 health because we have Geyser. This is as good of a Geyser as we'll get keeping the health on this. Oh my god. So now, <laughs> if he plays something we need to remove, we do, we will do Cobb Cannon. But otherwise, it's just going to be Astricado. What, would this, what am I playing around right now? I'm going to do Astrocado Twin here. I'm just trying to think, is there a reason for Astrocado to be in lane 2? There is no real actual reason. Is there anything that would mess it up in a different lane? Like, surprise Garg? Freeze? Okay, this is a little... Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. This is the play. We're playing around little removal cards in the ends. Tomb Raider. Thank you, Lazarus. It's just Dino Conjure? Something like that. Yes! Get wrecked! <laughs> Remember good old Briar Rose? So we have Cobb Cannon. It's all we really need to put this guy away right now. Ah, la 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 la. So we'll play one dry and one will utilize the, t the one team up we still have. We'll probably draw a team up in the next couple of turns. So this will be the dry one. I'm still sort of saving Heights Lane for Lily. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at all. We're doing so much damage to this guy. He's fronting Astrocado. K. <laughs> he might want to prevent the six damage there, but he has to. Okay, that's all right. So he gets a free Gravestone. He's trying to... What was the worst case scenario Gravestone he could get? I guess he could get like... Strength, this guy is in desperation mode. That actually makes that a pretty good target for the cop cannon now. Oh, little buddy. Oh, yay. You don't need the ramp anymore, so I'm gonna make a a, a play that might play a uh, cop cannon here rather than... Oh. There's nothing that this is gonna, I mean, it's less than our Tomb Razor. Do I just go face here? Is this insane just to do this? <laughs> I think this is the play. That ain't bad though. I think this is fine. And then we'll play this here. And we'll play... Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's binary! Beesh! It's like one of the few cards that can get him back into a game. Holy crap! That probably is the best thing in, t in terms of being down 16 to 6. Nah, but he doesn't have anything. He'll do 2 damage from Con Man here. He needs, I mean, Sugary Tree would would do 12. Bruh. Wow, he survived, though. He got the environment. That's annoying. Uh, okay, we are definitely going to Cop Cannon. The binary starts now. Are you kidding me, man? Yeah, there's plant food, never mind. We win in three lanes, including one unblockable. I, I think this is guaranteed unless he has a dancing card and a flamenco. BM time? 7, 11. Guava lane 3 was guaranteed? I think we did that right. It is BM value time. BM value time. This is all BM. It doesn't matter at all. 
Oh. <laughs> we We should have played this first so we took extra damage from the combat. That would have been more BM. That would have been a Stoy BM. <laughs> Got him. Did someone call binary? <laughs> <laughs> Someone actually in the chat called binary. That's funny. That was insane. Double click P. Okay, so here's another thing this duck's gonna do now. I'll get rid of little buddy. Uh, this is a decent turn three play. So I think I'll just keep this hand. Uh, let's see about umbrella. Now it's not gonna be protecting ramp. It's not gonna be comboing with briar rose. All umbrella is gonna do is just. Protect a tempo play. Let's see if that works. We have some of the best early game tempo and PvZ heroes here. Fortunately, he eliminates the first piece of it. Wow, look at Lily. Oh, we have the answer to that. That's crazy, man. Is there a reason not to do this here? It makes, again, the Lily of the Valley awkward, but it's such a good trade. We'll just do Lily Umbrella, like we did last time. And the Chompzilla superpower also just becomes more useful. So now we have another thing, like, like Black Eyed Pea all of a sudden becomes... I think this is fine, though. Like, Lily, should Umbrella go in front or behind? I guess, like, behind the 2-3. That's like this. This allows us, that if this dies, to play a non-team-up on Heights. Get another buff. This really is a really, really difficult play from the... Good! The Extinction event to 2-3 didn't do a damn thing! This really, really messed him up. I mean, look how good Umbrella Leaf was there. And that's it. He's not going to come back from this. Oh! <laughs> We could chop if he plays like, uh, the, what's it called? Bounty Hunter, man. Can you do that? What is he gonna sugar retreat? What is this man gonna do? I'm playing this. Yeah, if he sugar retreats that, we win. Doesn't matter. I'll, I'll chop it next turn. Nibble. Evapor- But we- <laughs> What was this? Okay, he just played this good and he just wanted three damage. Listen, okay? He just felt like getting three damage there. So we either have Mega Giga Chad Astricado on heights- No, we're doing this play. Ah! Watch, watch, watch. Please don't play another card. Please don't play another card. This is insanity, guys. G G. Holy crap, look at this play! <laughs> ah, the longer you hold Shamsilla super, obviously, the bigger potential, but the two for one, the massive five six there, dying to a one cause card is it's that's that's yeah. That's crazy. What are we looking for right now? Plant food for sure. Procking the block, lovely. I think that's the highlight intro is turn three. This deck is whipping ass. Uh, we still have no plays, unfortunately, but we're just making, we're just gaining card advantage and stuff here. Lightning Bolt, it's okay. Just board space. All we need. So we have seven. Plant food. Plant food wins straight up in one if he doesn't block it. 
If he clogs lane one, which he probably will. Unless he's going for a locust arm. Or alieners. I think we just asked Ricardo here. Five and four wins, and Plant Food will win next turn. If he overcommits, we Plant Food, but th this is fine. We'll block here. Plant Food will just win next turn. As opposed to playing this here and he alien oozes, and I don't know. Bruh. The 3 1. Okay. Uh, block Scorch would be pretty devastating here. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I feel so bad for this guy. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> that was harsh. Wow. Should that be a highlight match? That that was high octane. Look at this black IP. Should that be just a highlight match? Why not? That was pretty good. I'm pretty low on highlight matches. Uh, that was game six. All right. Uh, this looks pretty good. We keep this one. I think I should have gotten rid of the twin there. Not sure. Uh, so this is free, so I'll, I'll play it. What are the bets, by the way? 66 to 34. Every day it's 66 on yes, 33 on no. I don't have a great Lily play here. I oh, know it's pretty good. Well, the twin's better, right? Actually, there's twin here. Is this insane, the twin here? It means next turn we'll have... Instead of five, we'll have six. Alright. Do it. It will guys there next turn. Twin alive. Pretty good uh, imp throwing him. Good high value card. Uh, we don't really have any answers to toxic waste imp right now. It's a little bit of a problem. Is there like some lily play that doesn't involve Briar Rose? That's better. Whoa! Bro! Oh no, he got Toxic Waste. I think we just lose now. How am I going to answer Toxic Waste Amp, guys? There's no point in Briar Rose here, so I'm going to, like, Lily. I'm like, do this. Well, I think blocking and getting our ultimate is going to be the way to kill it. I'd love to actually block here. Uh, I wonder if there's any crazy world where I, where I just like don't, don't front any of his minions that turn, and just set up Rye Rose just so we can block and kill this. But that we actually have to kill the two ones, so that that's ridiculous. Maybe we'll get it here. Hopefully, it doesn't play anything too small. It's actually turn four now. Wow, I don't even have. Forgot I lost all my ramps. I don't have that. It's okay. So he's going to bounce the 4-5. That sucks. So if we get Scorch Lily lifts? Dude, or we're never going to block ever, ever, ever. And the problem is now, our ultimate doesn't kill the 2-2 two, two anymore. 
Oh, this is the worst case scenario. Come on, man. At least if we would have blocked, we could have killed this before this took the damage. Now what are we going to do? Now we're screwed is what we're going to do. We're going to be screwed. Oh, let's just do it like this, I guess. We have to chomp this too, too. Our life depends on it. Graveyard. Crypt, whatever it's called. Trapper. <laughs> the good news is, as long as it doesn't play a one health minion, we can chomp the, the dude. We can also play Briar Racer. Yell doesn't really do anything. So he's gonna bounce my life. It's okay. As long as I don't have Mug, we'll be okay. This is rough though. We don't want to play into Pogo Mug for sure. We're pretty weak against that. Wait, this is. We just played against this guy? When did we play against this guy? Oh, you're right. This is the guy who high rolled the, uh, the binary stars from the. Oh, this was two games ago we played against this guy. Wait, why did it not play? I'm checking the VOD. But this was the guy we got like two games ago. I think we cob his life right now. An umbrella? We cob an umbrella. Just to play around like whatever. Play around like the uh, fruitcake. Oh, we only have six though. And I'm not even looking at my yeah, this this actually is a sniper. I will count the game since I've already played this far into it. We do have some heals and stuff. That's awesome. So, I have to draw first. Yeah. Heal Briar's umbrella looks good. Is there a world we double click me? I don't think so. It's pretty strong. Get fruitcake lane four. So if this goes, it's a one in four chance. If it goes to water, we lose. Hopefully not. Wow, this didn't die either. It's a one in five. Oh. That was a card. We are not doing well in this game. Not at all. Shark. I think that's going to be the end. There's no way for us to proc the block here. There's no way for us to block. We're just done. I'm just done. And this, whatever we play here dies. There's no way. It was a sniper, but I said I'll call. I'll count the games. <laughs> I'll count it. This is not the same guy. We beat him the first time too. It's okay. Uh, we're going for that six and two. This is the last game. We're in a. 5-2 scenario. I need to change the emote to 5-2. I usually do 8 games these days instead of 10. <sighs> We're in a 5-2 scenario, guys. This hand looks okay. I think we get rid of this one. It's a pretty damn good hand. Not bad at all. 
Click B. We'll take one damage and get two cost three threes in your deck. I'm pretty sure Click B technically wins the trade. No teleports, just gotta play around Bungie and small removal and stuff. Uh, so this is either Kanga, Pirate. Um, if, look, at the end of the day, even if it's Swashbuckler, it doesn't matter. The Briar Rose kills it for free. I'll put this here so the Briar Rose can park behind this. Next turn. It doesn't matter at all. Twin Sunflower answer Swashbuckler? I think so. <laughs> as long as you have a good turn 5 play, and we have an amazing turn 5 play. In fact, we're probably going to see a Gravestone in lane 4. In which case, I'll just Briar Rose and, like, I'll Briar Rose here. This is, <laughs> this is insane. It's like this. Uh, it should be Flame Face, yeah. So his whole life dies right now to Briar Rose. So we have a Briar Rose on the board. <laughs> I get Briar Rose. You get nothing. You get five damage to my face there, giving me a full block meter. Thank you. Can we get something to... We got a Lily play. We got it. Uh, it doesn't matter which lane this goes in. Nope. But that's a 4-5. He'll need to spend two cards just to deal with Briar Rose. It'll have to be either Deadly or Strength here. He uses Deadly. But again, Deadly's gone. And this goes up to 5-6 now. Ridiculous. Whooping Pirate's ass with this deck, which is... I guess Twin Sunflat, I didn't think of that being like, oh, this is a really good card draw. Well, the best superpower by far. Um, in this scenario, we just need cards. Uh, plant food. We also are coming up on a potentially really, really strong chomp here. Uh, so we want the weaker card. Weaker cards, I mean, I'll probably play two tricks here, right? Alright, I think I'm gonna... Count the three attack as the weaker card than the two attack one in case he plays two tricks. There's really not <laughs> much he can do here. <laughs> he spends turn five playing graveyard. Congratulations. Proc the block. Turns out the two damage was worse, but it's okay. Plant food wins in three lanes. Oh, we got this guy. We got this guy. All right, guys. We completed the six and two. Really, really good deck. Another shout out to Frieza, who basically gave me this idea. His idea had a little more ramp and like Chomper instead of Astrakado. So as I very often do, I'll get ideas from people and then sort of make it into a deck the way that I, I think it's going to be really effective. If I follow someone's deck list this closely, which I'm following it pretty closely, uh, then I'll, I'll try to shout them out during the video. Since it's more of a deck than an idea, you know? All right, guys, that is going to be all for now. That was amazing. Were the Umbrella Leafs worth it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we didn't see Umbrella a ton, but the games we played them, they, they kind of carried. The Lilies were really good. Briar Rose is back. Briar Rose is still a decent card. It obviously fell out of favor when it was nerfed. And, to, and you know, Solar Winds was nerfed. We used to play it a lot before that. I mean, that was in 2018. I don't know when that was. Many years ago. Is it 2023? It was like five years ago. I still talk about the good old days when Briar Rose cost four and Solar Winds cost two. That was fair. As if the Solar class had to be any better. This really came together. I think the balance of early game and late game was great. I think the choice the choice of the early game cards, it really worked out. Everything was fine. Every single card. Look at the deck list. Every single card popped up. So anyway, guys, that is going to be all for now. I will see you in the next one. That is for sure going on YouTube. Pizza is fry.